regular monthly meeting of the Board of Commissioners held for the purpose of transacting the general business of the township. <clears throat> Today's date is April 8, 2020. Due to social distancing guidelines and Governor Wolf's stay at home order, this meeting is being conducted remotely utilizing the Zoom video conference platform. Instructions for accessing the meeting and for submitting public comment were made available on the township's website in advance of the meeting. Um, so now we have a moment of silence. Uh, we stand and join the Board of Commissioners in a moment of silence reflecting and honoring the service men and women who place themselves in harm's way in order to help preserve our safety at home and overseas. <coughs> Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America, America. and to the, to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, which stands one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for, all. for all. Okay. Um, uh, you know, sit down. We're I was focusing on the on the flag behind Jeff's head, which is a virtual flag. I didn't turn around for mine. <laughs> 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 you could see yourself, so it didn't matter. Okay. Um, and uh, I would like to entertain a motion dispensing with the reading of the minutes for, of the previous meeting as written and recorded in the official minute book of the township. We hear motion. So okay, second. Second. Uh, favor. The aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The eyes have it. Okay. And we we have a full, uh, uh, all of our board of commissioners are on, and we have um, a number of people from, we have uh, uh, Elizabeth from uh, Dilworth Paxson, then uh, Carly from, um, uh, I'm sorry, PFM, and uh, they are and then we also have our uh, township solicitor, uh, Jim Garrity, on the line. And Glenn Schaum, former president of the Board of Commissioners, as I can see, is uh, <laughs> in. Anybody else? Yeah, Baird, let me point out that Peter I, you see, is Peter Illion, who is getting his Eagle Scout. Oh. And he, had, he approached me about interviewing me about a topic. And the topic I came up with was, how do we deal with meetings in the Sunshine Act and other requirements? So we are being interviewed on, he's interviewing me on Saturday. I've got to find okay. out some of the legalities, but I suggested he, he watch. So he's oh, great. doing okay. his homework. And hello, Peter, you're muted, so we can't hear you, but okay. look forward to talking to you on Saturday. Okay, good, all right. So um, I'm going to announce that uh, the Board of Commissioners conducted an executive session meeting on April 6th 2020 as a part of the regularly scheduled workshop meeting held on that date to discuss one personnel matter. And then I'm gonna read uh, a statement concerning the COVID-19 uh, situation. On behalf of the Board of Commissioners, I would like to thank all township residents for their efforts to mitigate the spread of the COVID-19 virus. While none of us wish to be confined to our homes for extended periods, it is vitally important for us to practice social distancing in order to protect ourselves from this deadly virus. <clears throat> Grocery stores, pharmacies, and other life essential businesses remain open to the public. However, please limit the number of trips you make to no more than once per week, or ideally consider home delivery of any items that you may need. If you must venture outside of the home, please consider wearing a mask but be sure to properly handle the wash and wash the mask after it is worn. Residents are also permitted to exercise if they observe social distancing from others. Outdoor activities are safest if you stay at least six feet away from other people and wear a mask. Overcrowding on public trails has become a growing problem that may necessitate closing the trails if social distancing is not observed by others. If you at a trail entrance and find that it is overcrowded or the parking lot is full, 
please consider returning at another time or find another location to exercise. Trails are usually their busiest during the midday hours. Exercise in the early morning or evening hours instead. Active parklands are open for exercise, but playgrounds, basketball, and tennis courts are closed in order to discourage public gatherings. As a result of Governor Wolf's stay-at-home order and the closing of all businesses that are not life-sustaining, all non-essential township employees will be working remotely for the duration of the order. Township staff will continue to monitor and respond to all email and telephone messages during the business day and assist residents as needed. In addition, the Free Library of Springfield Township offers a digital resource center for patrons to download ebooks, audiobooks, and other materials. If you do not have a library card, please visit the library website at www.freelibraryofspringfieldtownship.org to obtain one. Refuse recycling and other waste removal activities will continue on their normal schedule and the men and women of the Springfield Township Police Department will continue to ensure the safety and security of the community. I would also like to acknowledge the efforts of the township's emergency medical service provider, the Community Ambulance Association of Ambler during this time. These paramedics and emergency medical technicians have responded to an unprecedented surge in medical calls and should be commended for their service on the front lines the pandemic along with the doctors and nurses who are caring for those who have contracted the virus. The same is true of our volunteer firefighters who have continued to respond to all calls during this uncertain time. If you or a loved one are exhibiting any symptoms of the COVID-19 virus, have contact with someone who has tested positive or have a doctor's recommendation to be tested, Montgomery County has set up a drive-through testing site at Temple University's Ambler Campus. Appointments are required in order to be tested. Please register at www.montcopa.org. Please note that the county testing site will close at 4 p.m. on Friday, April 10th, and is not expected to reopen. Those who require testing after this date should call their primary care physician for guidance. Please continue to monitor the Springfield Township and Montgomery County websites for updated information related to COVID-19. In conclusion, please be kind to one another and be sure to check on your neighbors and loved ones, especially seniors and those who live alone. Stay positive and resist the urge to question how others are coping with the current condition. So that's that. I also just want to make a note that this is the first night of Passover and many people may be missing our uh, meeting because of that. So I just want to say um, we're sorry that um, we couldn't coordinate that better, but uh, this uh, meeting will be taped and you can review it at any time on our on our new website, which I believe is going to be coming out tomorrow. And if you have questions, you can e email them in and we'll be happy to respond. So, so now I'm going to open the public portion of the meeting. And as part of the average for tonight's business meeting, an effort was made to solicit public comment in advance of the meeting. Public comment was accepted via email up to 6 p.m. this evening, and we did not receive any comments. Um, I will say that we are, we, uh, if anybody's in the audience now and they want to push their hand in the air button we, and turn off your mute, we'd be happy to take your commentary if you want to tell us who you are and where you live. And um, I'll wait for a few seconds to see if anybody wants to do that. Otherwise, we will try that again at the end of the end of the meeting. Um, please restrict any comments to the agenda. <coughs> and if you make a, uh, a comment or have a question about an agenda item uh, after the meeting, please um, realize that the uh, uh, the meeting will have already taken place and with very little we might be able to do about some of these some of these issues. So that's it. Anybody have any questions or? Uh, Commissioner Standish, I'm going to unmute everyone okay. uh, because we disabled the, the chat feature with the raising of the hands. Uh, so I'll unmute everyone now okay. and then one, at the conclusion of public comment, I'll mute everyone again. All right. All of the board and staff 
uh, including our guests, have co-host privileges so they can unmute, uh, they can unmute themselves uh, okay. when it happens. All right. All right, I have unmuted everyone, so. Any takers? No. Going once, going twice. Okay. Not, it looks like we don't have any comments now, but you'll have another chance at the end of the meeting. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So now we're going to get into the committee reports and I will set off with, as the uh, chairman of the community development committee. Uh, first, uh, a report concerning 805 Stevens Road. The rec subdivision proposes to relocate the existing property line between Montgomery County tax map parcel number 52-00-16666 dash zero zero dash four identified as lot two and the adjacent property located at 805 Stevens Road owned by the Catherine R. Rex Residuary Trust identified as lot one. The plan proposes to shift the common property line approximately 20 feet to the south in order to provide a conforming side yard setback for the dwelling located at 805 Stevens Road. There is no development proposed for either lot one or lot two at this time. So I, therefore, I move that the Board of Commissioners approve the subdivision lot line change for Gilbert Stephen Rex prepared by Durkin Associates, Inc., dated June 30th, 2017, last revised March 6th, 2020, consisting of a one sheet plan set. The plan approvals include the following waivers or partial waivers to the requirements of the subdivision and land development ordinance, which are hereby deferred. So number one, 95-7, contents of preliminary and final plan subsections C, E, F, G1, uh, G3, G4, and G5, H and I. Number two, 95-11, other standards and specifications subsections E and I. The plan is also subject to the following conditions. Prior to the recording of the plan, a note shall be added to the plan that requires the owner of Lot 2 to obtain land development approval from the Board of Commissioners before any development may occur. So, uh, do I hear a motion? You made the motion. You just need a second. I made the motion. I'm sorry. Do I hear a second? I'll second. Second. Thank you. Um, any uh, commentary or questions about this? No? Okay. So, um, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, any opposed, say nay. Okay. Please record a unanimous vote. All right. So, that concludes my report, and we will next uh, we'll move on to uh, Commissioner Harbison, the Chairman of the Internal Affairs and Library Committee. Okay, got a special background just for this. Um, the next item is item two, the bill listing. I move that the Board of Commissioners approve the March check reconciliation in the amount of $357,895.52 and the April bill listing in the amount of $707,483.56. That is my motion. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay, any commentary or questions on that? Nope, hearing none. Uh, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Okay, please record a unanimous vote. Okay, my second matter, the next item is ordinance number 965, and this is something that we talked about last month. We're refinancing our debt um, and saving some money in the process. I move that we have the debt will be the same length and the same amount. So we're not pulling any fast ones in that sense. I move that the Board of Commissioners enact ordinance number 965, an ordinance authorizing the sale and issuance of a general obligation note series of 2020 in an amount not to exceed 9.5 million to TD Bank NA. The proceeds of the note will be utilized to refinance the township's existing general obligation note series of 2016. The new note bears a fixed interest rate of 1.55% for 17 years and is estimated to save the township approximately $544,834 in interest payments. That is my motion. Thank you. Do I hear it? Second. Okay, are there any questions on the motion? 
Okay, hearing none, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, all opposed, say nay. Okay, please record a unanimous vote. And that concludes my report. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Harbison. Next, we will move to Commissioner Wilson, the Chairman of the Cultural and Environmental Resources mm -hmm. Committee. Thank you, Mr. President. I have uh, two, two announcements this evening. First is the recycling report. I am pleased to report that during the month of March 2020, Springfield Township residents recycled 172.58 tons of material with a householder participation rate of 83.4%. The net costs uh, for the month was $26,800.23. My, my second report uh, is regarding the Friends of Hillcrest Pond trout season. Friends of Hillcrest Pond recently mailed their annual fund drive letters soliciting donations for the care and the upkeep of the pond. The letter also uh, included an announcement uh, regarding the annual Sunday Family Fish Day, Family Fish Day, uh, that was to be held on April the 19th. Sadly, the event has been canceled due to the COVID-19 emergency. R related, the, Spring the Pennsylvania Fish Game Commission, uh, in consultation with the Pennsylvania Department of Health, opened the statewide 2020 trout season on April the 7th. As a result, all properly licensed adult anglers and youth may now begin fishing and harvesting trout in accordance with all state regulations. All anglers must abide by social distancing guidelines provided by the Center for Disease Control. Anglers are further encouraged to limit travel by fishing close to home, cover their face with a mask or cloth and maintain a distance of at least six feet from each other. Fish only with members of your immediate uh, family living in the same household and never share fish, fishing gear. If another angler is in the area where you intend to fish, please move to another location. So the good news is that the, uh, the trout season is open. Bad news is that uh, the uh, the, the Sunday Family Fish Day has been canceled. So that concludes my reports, Mr. President. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Wilson. Okay, next we will hear from Commissioner Graham, the Chairman of the Parks and Recreational <coughs> Resources Committee. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I have one motion this evening. Um, the 2020 Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Community Conservation Partnership Program provides grants to each community parks and recreational facility. Grants amount average between $100,000 and $200,000 and require a 50% local match. I move that the Board of Commissioners adopt Resolution 1491, a resolution authorizing application to the 2020 Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Community Conservation Partnership Program for the Mermaid Park Stream and Habitat Restoration Project. And also the Cisco Park Playground Rehabilitation Project. Both projects will require a local match in the amount of $123,500 and $134,376, respectively. The township has applied for other grants to fulfill its local match obligations. That is my motion. Thank you. Uh, do we hear a second? A second. second. Thank you. Any questions or comments on the, uh, on the motion? Okay, hearing none. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Okay, please record a unanimous vote. And that concludes my report, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Grant. Okay, next we will hear from Commissioner Maxwell, the Chairman of the Public Safety Committee. 
Thank you, Mr. President. I have one item this evening in regards to our police officers. I move that the Board of Commissioners extend a conditional offer of employment to Andrew R. Seltzer, Horsham, PA, as a probationary police officer with the Springfield Township Police Department. The offer of employment is conditioned upon Mr. Seltzer successfully completing a medical and psychological examination and shall become effective on April 27th, 2020. Mr. Seltzer is currently employed as a police officer with the Westchester University Department of Public Safety. The appointment will fill a vacancy created by the retirement of a police lieutenant earlier this year. That is my motion. Thank you. Do we hear a second? Second. Second. Thank you. Uh, any questions or comments on the motion? Okay, hearing none, uh, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, all opposed say nay. Please record a unanimous vote. That concludes my report for this evening, Mr. President. Okay, thank you, Commissioner. Mm -hmm. Next, we will hear from Commissioner Cobb, the chairman of the Zoning Committee. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the Springfield Township Zoning Hearing Board will be meeting for April on April 27th at 7 p.m., in which we will hear two applications. Uh, the first being uh, an application from uh, St. Genevieve School, uh, Church and School, the owners of the property located at 1225 Bethlehem Pike. The property is also known as parcel number 52000159 The applicant is seeking a dimensional variance uh, to permit a rear yard setback of 23.8 feet where 30 feet are required. Uh, to allow for reduction is the required number of on-site parking stalls. Uh, to permit parking stalls of nine feet in width and 18 feet in length uh, to allow for parking lot buffer of less than 10 feet in depth. Um, to allow for reduction in the internal green space by 900 square feet less than required of the zoning ordinance of Springfield Township to allow for an expansion of the current use of the property as a church and school. Uh, the property is zoned within the B and C residential districts and the B1 business district of Ward 1. We'll also uh, be hearing the application of Mr. Kevin Brennan, equitable owner of the property located at 907 Bethlehem Pike in Erdenheim. The applicant is seeking a dimensional variance um, from the zoning ordinance of Springfield Township, uh, proposing to operate a professional office from the site that will have four off-street parking stalls instead of the required eight. The proposed use, Solu staff, is a three-person technology consulting and staff augmentation company the property is zoned within the B1 business district of Ward 1. Um, due to social distancing guidelines and Governor Wolf's stay at home order, the zoning hearing board meeting scheduled for the 27th will be held via the Zoom web conferencing program. Instructions on how to join the Zoom are available on the township website um, and will be, uh, will be made available then. That's my report. Great, thank you, Commissioner Cox. Okay, and then finally, we will hear from Commissioner Lee, the Chairman of the Public Works and Facilities Committee. Thank you, Mr. President. I have two items this evening. Uh, it's related to Arbor Day in Springfield, which was to be celebrated in Springfield Township on Saturday, April 25th. In addition to the traditional tree planting ceremony and tree giveaway conducted by the Springfield Township Shade Tree Commission each year, 2020 Arbor Day event was to include a partnership with the Springfield Township Environmental Advisory Commission to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. The township also planned to conduct an open house and to offer tours of the township's municipal campus facilities, including the police administration building, library, public works, and ambulance garages. However, like so many other public gatherings impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, it is not possible to conduct the celebration as planned. Therefore, it is the township's intention to conduct its Arbor Day celebration and open house festivities this fall at a date to be determined. I move that the Board of Commissioners of Springfield Township adopt resolution number 1492, a resolution proclaiming Saturday, April 25th, 2020, as Arbor Day in Springfield Township. And even though the township cannot celebrate Arbor Day as planned, the Board of Commissioners urges citizens, all citizens, to support efforts to plant new trees and to protect existing trees and woodlands. That is my motion. 
Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. second. Great. Uh, any questions or comments on the motion? Okay. Hearing none. Um, all in favor, please uh, uh, indicate it by saying aye. 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 Okay. All opposed, say nay. Okay. Please record a unanimous vote. The second item, I move that the Board of Commissioners authorize the advertisement of public bids for the Township's 2020 Highway Resurfacing Program. A total of 13 streets are proposed to be resurfaced in 2020 at an estimated cost to the Township $324,600. Copies of the bid, bid specifications for the project, along with the complete list of streets to be resurfaced, are available in the office of the township manager. That is my motion. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Um, any questions or comments on the uh, motion? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Okay, please record a unanimous vote. Thank you, Mr. President. That concludes my report. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Lee. Okay, so um, I am now going to um, open the uh, proceedings up for comments and questions from the public again. And uh, again, what we'll do is we'll unmute everybody. And if somebody uh, wants to, uh, make a comment or ask a question, uh, just state your name and where you live and we will entertain your comment or question. Okay, going once, going twice. All right, so in that case, uh, I would uh, entertain a motion to um, close the meeting. Mr. President, yes. one second before we adjourn. Um, okay. I think it would be unfair if we ended the meeting and we didn't acknowledge uh, all of our township staff, um, as we know, they had to make some drastic changes in the way we operate with the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, and I want to acknowledge Mike Taylor, Brandon, Chief Pico, Don Siriani, Pat DePaul. They put a plan in place. It's being executed. A lot of our staff's working from home. Um, obviously, our police department's still out on the street doing what they need to do to keep us safe. But um, let's not forget the trash and recycle guys are out there every week working, you know, with increased loads and trash and um, they continue to do an excellent job. And I think we should uh, thank them for what they've done so far and continue to do for this township. Yep. Here, here. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Good job, everybody. Uh, look at Glenn's clapping. <laughs> <laughs> we see that, Glenn. I see the clap. Look at that. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Thumb, Thumbs uh, up. There you go. That's a McGrory thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I ask uh, Commissioner Maxwell uh, what time the shuttle gets launched tonight? Here you are. Hey, there's Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Glenn. Hello, Commissioner Sham. Oh, you're muted, Glenn. <laughs> there you go. Uh, there we go. Now you. Now you're. Whoop, we're trying. There you go. To unmute. Hey, Everybody's. Now you, we can hear you. There you go. Hello, Glenn. Hey, you guys are doing a great job. I think it's very unique to sit in my chair and listen to the music. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything. And uh, second what Mike said about township staff. So, Yeah. Be Thank safe. you, Glenn. And, uh, have a great night. Yeah. It's great. You too. You too. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I actually, I, I'm, I'm sort of enjoying these kind of meetings. It's a little bit like, I mean, I'm a musician. It's a little bit like showing up and having them stick you in a new band and you don't know the music very well <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on you're not really used to so but i think we're, we're forging ahead pretty well so and to answer commissioner cobb the shuttle launch will be at 8 10. <laughs> uh -oh. seven minutes so my pop culture question is for the, those of us of a certain age is this the brady bunch or is it hollywood squares oh yeah and to those of you who are much younger, what I, what is it to you? Got to go don't watch television. I, mm. I, say, I say Hollywood Squares. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very much. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I favor the Brady Bunch. <laughs> hey, hey, Baird, I forgot one thing um, to add in my thanks to the, the volunteer fire departments. And not only uh, are they, you know, home during this, uh, yeah. they do respond to calls, but I'm sure everybody's seen that uh, with – 
birthdays of children throughout the township. They are doing wonderful parade drive-bys for the, the kids of the township, and that is just an awesome great. thing. Does anybody know what piece of pop culture I have behind me right now that mm. I'm blocking? The Bigfoot? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's our, that's our homework. The next time everybody has to have a piece of co popular culture behind them. <laughs> Make the meeting stop. All right. All right. So, I'll, yet again, I will entertain a, a motion to uh, close the meeting then. So moved. So okay. moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Everybody. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah.